Hi everyone. So as Dominic said, my name is Christina. Uh, this is me. Hello. Uh, I am a senior weather forecast in Croatia. I live in Zagreb. Uh, in my free time, I enjoy uh, with singing and dancing and uh, going in nature with my family. Uh, so now you know where I'm from, so please, if you would uh, put a star, and let me just uh, give you privileges to annotate. Yes, please annotate and put a star or some kind of uh, a sign where you are from. If you wish to annotate, just click on the annotate icon at uh, the top right screen above the Christina's sharing screen. So it's England, Bulgaria. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, we will take a look at our uh, synoptic situation. Uh, this is uh, air mass from this morning at 3 UTC. Uh, you can really nicely see. Let me just take a pen or something. Here we go. So, we have here a really cold air mass. It's a uh, bluish um, uh, kind of uh, color, bluish purple. And if we take a look down here, we can uh, see the warm air mass in a greenish, greenish yellowish color. Also, uh, what we can uh, see nicely is uh, this orange um, uh, brownish color that uh, gives um, the atmosphere a folding a situation. Uh, we have here two cyclones, one on the west side of uh, the continent and one on the east. Uh, so please, would you be so kind and uh, annotate uh, where you can, where would you expect to see jet stream? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, let me just clear. Okay, thank you. Very good. Let's now continue. Just annotation. Okay, so this is uh, uh, how we can see the the jet stream in our uh, from our models. Uh, most of you were right here. You can see really strong uh, jet, uh, while on the eastern part, jet is almost none, or there is some weak jet here uh, in the south and a bit more on the uh, northeast. Uh, so uh, now, okay. We uh, have put uh, over uh, geopotential height on 300 uh, uh, hectopascals. Uh, now you can really nicely see uh, omega. Um, also, uh, it is really nicely visible how uh, here on the west the um, uh, the geopotential uh, is really thick. It's really close. One one. Um, one a geopotential line to the other, while on the east they are further apart. Uh, what is also uh, easy to see is now the axis of the omega, uh, but uh, as we go a little bit lower in the atmosphere, uh, you can see that uh, the axis slowly shifts uh, more to the east. So it goes more to the east. Yeah. First it was here. First it was here. Then it goes a little bit more to the east. And then when you are on the surface, it's almost uh, all the way to the east of the Europe. So what is also interesting to notice is the cyclone on the west side uh, of Europe. Uh, uh, if you now uh, look at the geopotential and the center of the cyclone, you can notice how it goes. It's almost on the top of each other. The, it's uh, vertical all the way through, which means uh, that the cyclone is really strong. So what we want to look at now is how that cyclone developed. 
we will go a little bit back in time uh, to Sunday. Uh, this is uh, uh, 500 hectopascals. You can really nicely see the anticyclone here over Europe. Uh, well, here is one trough near England, and then here is a little small trough here. Uh, there is jet stream here and a PV anomaly, anomaly here forming. So let's now have a look uh, what happens a bit later. We'll go closer to our timeline. So this is Sunday at 3 o'clock. Uh, you can see the jet stream and uh, the, the cyclonic verticity. Uh, it is really nicely placed um, on the left side of the jet stream, close to the jet streak. Uh, and you can see here the PV anomaly, how it's uh, uh, protruding down. So next, this is on Monday. We are already at the mature stage. Now at this uh, point, uh, the uh, you can see that maximum of vorticity and advection uh, of um, vorticity advection moves to the center of the cyclone. Here, just a sec. So here, moves to the center, and um, it's together with the jet stream here. Yeah. So this is the jet stream, and this is maxima of uh, vorticity advection. Uh, let's now go next. Okay, so uh, this is at the Monday 6 uh, morning mature stage uh, where uh, I put over it um, overlaid with the uh, advection of temperature at 850 hectopascal. You can see how uh, the warm air is uh, like turning around and going around um, around the cold air. Also in, inf in infrared image you can really nicely see the high thick clouds here in um, in the front while at the back it's lower clouds which are not so bright as these thick ones already with the, with the uh, ice crystals on top. So now that we looked at this really interesting part, let's go back to Croatia. So this is Croatia from today morning. Uh, you can see there was a lot of uh, clouds about Croatia. It was really cloudy except in Dalmatia. This is like Dalmatia. You can see clear skies. The only, let's say, pot potentially dangerous um, uh, meteorological situation is maybe here where you can see uh, convection development with a little uh, cloud top. Also, you can really see that it's a high cloud because there is a, a shadow on the lower, lower clouds uh, below. Uh, so, um, as you can see, uh, so Croatia uh, is not uh, in a, any, um, let's say, dangerous um, uh, meteorological situation. Uh, mostly it's uh, thick water clouds, except here we can see some, uh, some cold uh, cloud tops with some icing on top with this bluish color. And you can remember that uh, where they are situated, because, because now when we take a look at the synop, you can see how the rain then is exactly at those points where we saw uh, the, the highest uh, clouds. That's where the rain is. The rest of uh, Croatia is mostly without rain, with thick clouds. The temperature in the morning was above average because the night was already cloudy, so there was no night cooling. And uh, during the day, we accept, uh, uh, we, we are expecting temperatures around uh, climatological average or a little bit lower in the northern parts where it will be mostly cloudy during the day. Okay, uh, so go ahead. 
Um, as uh, I told you before, there is not uh, much uh, much going on if we uh, look at uh, uh, look at the met meteorological situation. Uh, most uh, dynamic processes that we can expect today is in the interior of Dalmatia. You can see the little X sign here where I chose a place. So there is some cape. It's a uh, elongated skinny cape. Most of uh, cape is uh, above zero. So uh, we are expecting mostly rain. Uh, because there is almost uh, no no wind, uh, the whatever uh, develops, it will be slowly moving. So locally, we ex expect heavy showers. But uh, since there is not uh, too much uh, moisture coming in, uh, we don't expect it to have any serious consequences. Uh, if you remember the situation, I. Uh, this is from an hour ago. I wanted to show you how it developed. So uh, I did the um, analysis in the morning and you can see uh, how it now develops. Most of uh, uh, the, the lightning that is happening now is in the interior of Dalmatia. This is uh, the system that I showed you in the morning. It's almost stationary because there is uh, almost no movement in the atmosphere so it's really slowly going in this direction and because uh, the sea is already quite warm and there is some cape uh, everything that uh, develops it's uh, it's potentially long living and as i said then with the heavy rain so what do we expect on wednesday and today's uh, in front of us. I have to say, if I was uh, giving a weather briefing on Thursday, it would be much more interesting because uh, the this cyclone that is um, that is uh, here on 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 the western part of Europe will be slowly moving moving to the southeast. You can see already on Wednesday the jet stream is uh, getting stronger. We can he uh, here see that um, it's uh, the south uh, westerly wind is growing stronger. So as uh, as it grows stronger, the moisture will be also uh, picking up and uh, well now the thing is, uh, different models give a different time of when the, uh, the, um, the front is going to pass over Croatia. So ECMWF is expectingly, expecting it on Wednesday. Uh, well, you will see now. Uh, so this is synoptic outlook for Wednesday. As you can see, Met Office agrees and uh, the front should pass over Croatia on Wednesday, which means it will bring showers, especially because uh, the sea is already quite warm. Uh, the, the wind is picking up in the upper level, so we're, we will have some shear. Uh, while, uh, while DVD is kind of going slower, uh, maybe because uh, in DVD they still it still doesn't uh, pick up the southwesterly flow, uh, which will then push the the front a bit quicker over uh, over us. They both agree uh, that it will be uh, more dynamic on Wednesday and Thursday, uh, but uh, they don't agree for the cause. So in um, in ECMWF and Met Office, it's mostly due to uh, local instabilities and lines of convergation with um, with uh, upper level low, which will, uh, let me just draw a little bit. The upper level low will in, uh, in on, on a Thursday kind of um, go towards Croatia, while here 
uh, in DVD, it's mostly um, that uh, this uh, low goes quite slowly towards Croatia. So by DVD, uh, we could expect more, uh, let's say, severe weather uh, late, late Thursday and Friday morning, while uh, with Met Office and ECMWF, it's more on on Thursday. But that's being a forecaster, um, we need to look every day, and that's why we do forecasts every day, so we can correct and adjust our forecasts. <laughs> 